In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the transform function to compute a new variable that we can use for our data analysis. This uh, sample data asking middle school and high school students their age, their gender, what grade they're in, their ethnicity, what type of grades they typically get, the self-report, and then how often they've used alcohol, tobacco, and other uh, drugs, including marijuana, in the last year. So the variable of focus here is this grade variable. Let me show you the variable view. And what we did is we asked them on a survey what grade they're in. And they told us if they were in 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, or 12th grade. So in this situation, what we want to do is create a new variable. And this new variable, we want to indicate whether or not the subject is either in middle school or in high school. Now in California, most middle schools have 6th, 7th, and 8th grade students, and most high schools have 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade students. So you can see here underneath the grade level on that survey, we asked them what grade they're in. They told us they were either in 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, or 11th grade. And now we want to make a new variable to tell us whether or not that person is in middle school or high school because what that will give us now is a new grouping variable that will tell us whether or not they're in middle school or high school. What we can do is use the transform function in SPSS to compute a new variable from values from an existing variable. To do that we'll go to transform and we'll click on recode into different variables. Now, you also notice above it that you can recode into the same variables, but I would never recommend doing that. And the reason why is because it's going to change the existing variable. So I would highly recommend that you always recode into different variables. So we'll go ahead and click on recode into different variables, and that'll bring on the recode into different variables dialog box. You can see on the left hand side all the variables in your data file are there. What we want to do is recode an existing variable into a new variable. So we need to take the existing variable, in this case it's what grade you're in, and we're going to tell it that's the input variable. So we're going to say take the responses or the data from this existing variable called um, what grade are you in, and we're going to make a new variable based on the information that's there that will be a grouping variable where one will equal middle school and two will equal high school. So let's give a name to that new variable. We'll call it grade level. And we're gonna click on change. So now what we're doing is telling SPSS take this existing variable called grade in our data file and we're gonna recode that into this new variable or different variable called grade level. That will tell us whether or not they're in middle school or high school. Now what we need to do is specify how we're going to recode that. And so we're going to use this old and new values button here. So we'll click on the old and new values button and that will allow us to specify the old values in the existing variable grade and what we want to recode them into in this new variable called grade level. So you recall that sixth graders were coded as a one, 7th graders were 2, 8th graders were 3. So what we're going to do here is say, well, if they're a 6th grader here, which was coded as a 1, in the new variable, they're going to be a middle school student, which we're going to code as a 1 as well. And then we're going to click on Add. Now we'll move on to the 7th graders. 7th graders were coded as a 2, and we want to make them middle schoolers in the new variable. So we're going to put a 1 under the new value and click on Add. So let's just stop for a moment and review what we've done so far. We've said in the old variable grade, if they're a sixth grader, which we coded as a one, make them a one or a middle school student in the new variable. If they're a seventh grader, which we coded as a two, again, make them a one in this new variable called grade level, which will tell us they're a middle school student. Let's move on to the eighth graders. The eighth graders in the old variable grade were called a three, and so they're middle schoolers as well, so they would be a one, and we'll click on add. Now we'll move on to the ninth, 10th, 11th, and 12th graders. So the old value for the ninth graders was a four, and in their new variable, we wanna make them high schoolers, and we're gonna code that as a two, so we're gonna type a two in here, 
and click on add. Now we'll move on to the 10th graders. They were coded as five. Again, they're gonna be a two indicating they're a high schooler and click on add. Now we'll move on to the 11th graders. We coded as six in the old variable. In the new variable, they're going to be a two again indicating they're in high school. And then finally, the 12th graders, which we coded as a seven. In the new variable, they're gonna be high schoolers coded as a two and click on add. So if you see here, if they're a one, two, or three in the old variable, they're gonna be a one in the new variable called grade level, indicating they're middle school students. If they're four, five, six, or seven, which represents ninth through 12th graders, they're gonna be twos in the new variable representing they are in high school. Notice we could do this with more than one group. We can make this new variable any number of levels or groups that we would want it to. We can click on continue, and then we can click on OK. You'll see it writes that command to the SPSS output file. If we go back to our data file, you can see here is the new variable. And you can see all the sixth graders, the seventh graders, and the eighth graders are all coded as a one. Where all the ninth graders, the tenth graders, the eleventh graders, and the 12th graders all coded now as a two in this new variable. So we could change the um, value labels in the value labels command, and we can put them as middle school students, and then two as um, high school students. All we're doing here is specifying the new value labels for the new variable grade level. We can click on OK, and if we go back to our data file, we can see here that now we have a new grouping variable indicating that anybody who's in sixth, seventh, and eighth grade is a middle school student. And anyone that's in the ninth grade, the 10th grade, the 11th grade, or the 12th grade are now coded as high school students. So let's review what we've done. What we've done is we've taken an existing variable and recoded it into a new variable. In this case, we had survey data where respondents told us what grade they were in, 6th through 12th grade, and we wanted to create a new variable based on this existing information of what um, grade level they were in, my, middle school or high school. Notice we could have done this by hand, you know, but here we've got 184 records, so if we did it by hand, we might, one, make a mistake, and two, it might take too long, particularly if you have large data sets, you know, with several hundred records. This is a much quicker and easier way to do it. Uh, what I would do is urge you to go and just look briefly at all of the, the records and to make sure that it kind of did it okay. So just take a couple of them and eyeball them. Okay, these ninth graders are in high school, um, so on and so forth. Now, if you have missing data on this variable, it's going to make it missing here as well. So don't uh, worry about that because it can't compute what that subject would have been in. So if you have missing data here, it would have made missing data here as well. So thank you for taking a look at how to use the transform command to take an existing um, information and compute new information. As always, if you have any questions, make sure that you stop by during office hours.